Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face of first impressions. I have a bunch of brand new makeup here, drugstore, high end. So we're gonna test it all out today. I have some Dose of Colors, Derma Blend, LA Girl, Elf, Pure Cosmetics, Pixie, lots of variety, lots of good stuff. So grab a snack, get cozy, and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and click the bell, that way you're notified every single time I upload, and let's get into a full face of first impressions. All right, so first we're gonna start off with a new eyeshadow primer. So this one is from Rare Beauty. I use eyeshadow primer every time I do my eyeshadow. I used to never, Oh wow, that's pigmented. I used to always just use concealer, but eye primer makes such a difference. I'm just gonna use a brush just to blend this in. Feels a little bit tacky, kind of like the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Blends really easily though, which is good. Then for eyeshadow palette, I actually have an indie brand. So this one is from Scale Cosmetics. It is the Nude Troll Palette. This looks absolutely beautiful. You guys know I love a good neutral eyeshadow palette and the tones in here look stunning. I have tried a couple products from this brand and they are very nice quality, so definitely check them out. They are a smaller black owned business and they have tons of variety, so definitely go show them some love. I'm gonna start off with this really pretty light orange color and I'm gonna apply that as my transition color. One dip, very pigmented. Ooh, I also love the fact that this palette comes with a mirror. Okay, I definitely have leftover lash glue on my eyes. Cute, it's like clumped up. Ew. Then I'm gonna take this really pretty shimmery shade. It's like a really light bronzy color, definitely perfect for summer. And I'm gonna use the Crayon Case Flat Shader Brush that I love, and I'm just gonna dip in here and So pigmented. This is pretty. Almost looks like a little bit of like a kind of duochrome shade. It's gorgeous. Okay, now I'm gonna spray my brush just so we can see how it looks sprayed. Still gives you a really pretty shimmery effect. The color in general, like the finish of it, is not super intense. It just gives your lids like a really light sheen, but it's really pretty. It's a nice color. Next, I'm going to go into this brown color right here, and I'm going to apply that on the outer crease just a little bit. Take a little bit more of that orange. I don't want to lose that in the crease, so I just like to add that back in to also help me blend out any edges, like harsh lines. So I think that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow for now. I might add a little something in a little bit, but I'm gonna do some winged liner, and I think I'm gonna do some double winged liner and add a little pop of orange as well. So I have this new one from Koki Cosmetics. It is the Precise Longwear Liquid Liner. Um, okay, this is amazing. She's thick, by the way, the liner, but like what else is new? You already knew that was gonna happen, so. This is really nice though. It's super black, really easy to work with. All right, let's continue on and do a little pop of orange. So I'm gonna use this Electric Bold Liner from Perfusion. This one's in the color Psych. Ooh, this is like neon. Ooh, this is cute actually, really cute. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is basically just line right over top of where I just did the black winged liner. I'm just gonna do a thin line of the orange just for a little pop. Okay, liner is all done. I actually really love the color and I like the way that it looks. It's super bright. They come in a bunch of other neon shades as well, but the formula is a little tedious to work with. So when you're doing your wing or you're using the liner, it can look really streaky and patchy when you first do it. So you do have to go over it a couple times so that it looks as smooth as possible. That's like the only thing. But other than that, I do really like the color and this is just a fun way to add a little pop to your look. I have a new mascara. This one is from LA Girl. It is the Jet Setter Lash and Go Mascara. So Says it's a buildable smudge proof formula and it's water and flake resistant, which I feel like is perfect for, of course, the summertime. Okay, packaging is really cute. This kind of looks like a benefit mascara. Like it looks high end. I like it. I feel like it separates your lashes. I'm not getting like 
a ton of like volume or length, but it definitely separates your lashes. Now for the skin, I have this primer from LYS Beauty, which is Love Yourself Beauty. This is the Secure Skin Gripping Primer. So I tried their foundation. I actually really, really love it. It has great ingredients in it, and this is actually like a pretty, I don't want to say affordable brand, but most of this stuff is priced like relatively cheaper than most other brands at Sephora. Um, it's kind of like rare beauty pricing in a way. The packaging of this stuff is beautiful. I love it. So this is a lightweight serum primer that helps balance the appearance of skin and minimize the look of enlarged pores. So it looks like a gel. And it does feel a little bit sticky too, which I like because then your makeup will grip onto it and last all day, which is like the goal. Feels nice though. It definitely goes on like a serum. The finish of it is kind of a little bit more tacky, but it melts into the skin and blends in really easily. For a foundation, I actually have a CC cream. This one is from Dermablend. It is the Continuous Correction Full Coverage CC Cream. It has SPF 50 in it. This is supposed to be a weightless, breathable formula that gives you full coverage and up to 24 hour color wear that stays comfortable and true. So that's a pretty big claim and I picked up the shade medium one if you're wondering so let's see how this looks let's see if it's actually full coverage so I'm gonna use a brush first definitely has great coverage so it's kind of like the it cosmetic CC cream like coverage wise and like how lightweight it feels but it's definitely less thick like if I had to compare it to another high-end CC cream. This one definitely feels a little bit more liquidy, which I prefer, honestly. This looks really, really good. The finish is super natural. So far, so good with that. I'll let you guys know how this makeup does wear throughout the day, and I'll keep you guys updated, but so far, I'm loving it. I really love everything that I use today so far. Now let's do concealer. So I got this one from Pure Cosmetics. I picked this up, like, literally weeks ago, probably months ago at this point, and I honestly forgot about it. It was at the bottom of my little makeup drawer with all my new products, so I want to test it out today because I have tried out their foundation, and I do like it. It is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Sculpting Concealer, and this one I have in the shade LN6. Oh, the packaging is interesting, so there's like a little button that you push to take it out and then you pop it back in and it just clicks. Oh, and the applicator is nice. It's flat. So this concealer says it's ideal for all skin type. It's medium to full coverage, which I agree with. And it says it blends out seamlessly. Also agree. This sponge, by the way, is from Flutter and Love. It is so soft and super, super bouncy. This formula is a little bit thicker, but it has nice coverage. Okay, I have a new cream blush. How cute is this package from Pixie? So this is the On The Glow Tinted Moisture Blush Stick. This is what the package looks like. Which one do you guys think I'm gonna go in with? I'll give you some time to think about it. I know, this one. Duh. Um, but the other colors do look really pretty. We have Fleur and Ruby. Oh, that's such a cute name, Ruby. Um, but the color that I'm gonna go in with is Juicy. I love that. So it kind of looks like a little deodorant, but it's cute. Let's swatch it. Pretty. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Medium Sculpting Brush. Just from the back of my hand, I'm gonna just use that product up. Okay, let's build that up. I'm just gonna dip directly into the little stick. I love cream blush. It's very dewy, but Pixie is pricey. I was looking at prices last night and I think it was like 17 or $18, which is expensive for like a drugstore product. It is a really pretty color, but that is very pricey. And this is also like pretty natural. Like you definitely get pigment, but it's a super, super light flush overall. So you could definitely get this effect using like an e.l.f. putty blush, ColourPop dewy blushes, Milani. I mean, there's so many great cream blushes, although this is a really nice formula and I do like it. $18 is a lot for a drugstore cream blush. Let me know what you guys think. I'm loving this whole look though very orangey very bronzy i have another product from pixie this is their h2o skin veil hydrating loose powder and this is a weightless loose powder to fix and finish it cools refreshes and hydrates as it leaves a satin like finish it's a little bit drying on the skin 
I definitely feel some tightness when I apply this product. Feels like it has a matte finish. I think this powder would be really nice to set your entire face, maybe if you have very oily skin, but for the under eyes, it's definitely not my favorite. Okay, update. I just wiped off my foundation, my complexion, because I did not like the way that Pixi powder made everything look. It was super dry, my under eyes looked terrible, and I really love this makeup, and I didn't want this video to be a fail, so I wiped it off. I was trying to avoid that, like I tried to fix my under eyes, and it just looked completely terrible. So yeah, this powder is not good. It's just not the vibe. Something about the finish of it and like just the way it feels on the skin. Even if your base looks really good and you put this on over top, it will make your products look terrible and super dry. Just not flattering at all. So I had to wipe that off. Okay, I am ready to move on to some different products now. So I have two new products from Juvia's Place. So I have the bronzer palette. This one is in medium. And then I have their blush palette. This is the Blushed Rouge Volume 2 palette. So let's start with the bronzer first. These come in, I believe, four or five different shades. I should have got the light one, honestly. This might be a little bit too warm and like a little bit too dark for me, but I think I can make it work. I'm gonna dip into this color and this color here. And just warm up the skin. Ooh, that looks really, really good. Okay, this palette is super rich and buttery. The formula is very creamy on the skin, even though it's a powder, like it actually glides on and it feels really good. It blends really nicely too. It doesn't seem to be muddy and surprisingly, this color actually works for my skin tone. Now, I'm not being too generous with the product just because I feel like most bronzers are super pigmented and this one feels, like I said, super buttery. But with the amount of product that I did use on the skin, I love the way that it looks and it blends really, really nicely. Okay, now for the blush. This is like so me. So we have like a baby pink and then we have a really pretty kind of orangey shade. So I'm just going to mix both of them. That's the color. Ooh, definitely super bright, but it's pretty. Okay, we have to blend this out, girl. This is, uh, this is a lot. It's intense, but it's very, very pretty. I love the colors in here. And they have another palette that is a little bit darker. I do feel like this could work with different skin tones. Just be mindful of how much you're using because clearly it's very pigmented, but it's a beautiful formula. I like this and the bronzer a lot actually and like the packaging and everything, super cute. Okay, for highlighter, I have this one from e.l.f. And this is actually from their Jelly Pop collection, which they did bring back again for the summertime. So this is the Glow Stick in Melon Air. So it's kind of like a cream highlighter and I'm just gonna put it over top of this just to see how it looks. Oh, it smells good. Good. It smells like Jolly Ranchers. Mmm. I'm just gonna use my fingers. It is very natural. It just gives you a little natural dew, which I think is pretty. Personally, I like this. This is like my kind of glow. But it does give your cheeks this really just natural dew, which I think is very pretty. Okay, for the lips, I'm actually super excited because I have the Nima Tang and Dose of Colors collab here. This is the Coral Lip Set. So it comes with a liquid lipstick, a gloss, lip liner, and a regular lipstick. Dose of Colors makes some of the best liquid lipsticks. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, need. And this is such a pretty orangey shade for the summertime, of course, or even the fall. This is very pretty. So those are the swatches of the liquid lipstick, lipstick, lip liner, and lip gloss. All right, so I'm gonna start with the lip liner first. So I've tried Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. Like I said, they make some of my favorite ones. So I'm actually gonna try the lipstick because I've never tried a Dose of Colors lipstick. Mm, this smells really good. Formula, color, everything, 20 out of 10. They killed it, I love it. Now I'm gonna top it off with the gloss in the shade Sequin. It's nice because you can't feel like the sequin or like the glitter on your lips. It still feels very smooth and it's not sticky. It's a very lightweight formula. I'm just gonna drag a little bit of the orangey color with some of this brown on the lower lash line. I'm actually first gonna take this shimmery color, both of these and just mix the two. And I'm just gonna apply those right in the inner corners. And I'm just gonna line my waterline with a brown liner. This one is new from NYX. It's the Epic Wear Liner Stick in Deepest Brown. Super 
super creamy. Just gonna smudge that out a little bit more. Also adding some of the black as well, just on the outer portion. Last but not least, I'm gonna set my makeup and I got this new one from Derma Blend. This is the Lock and Last Water Resistant Setting Spray. It's an instant skincare hydration spray that's supposed to make your makeup last for, again, 24 hours. And this is supposed to make your makeup smudge, transfer, and water resistant. Okay. <laughs> So that officially completes this full face of first impressions. I love this look. I know it's kind of like bold in your face, especially with the lip color and the orange liner, but I am living. And I'm living for a lot of these products as well. I pretty much love, I would say like 90% of the stuff that I used. So let's chat about everything. Okay, first, Things that I'm not crazy about. I think you guys already know this powder from Pixi is terrible. I feel like it almost made my face look chalky and dry and it took away coverage on my under eye area. So that's why I ended up wiping everything off because I couldn't save the complexion with this powder. It completely ruined everything and uh, it's $24. So definitely not worth it. The On The Glow blush from Pixi is very pretty and it gives you the most natural wash of color, but it's expensive. This is $18 and I think you can get that same effect with other cream blushes at the drugstore that are like $10 and under. It's a nice, formula, but I think for what it is, it is definitely pricey. The concealer from Pure Cosmetics is okay. I'm not loving it. I'm not hating it. I'm kind of like right in the middle. I'll definitely keep using it. I've tried better, but I've also tried worse. So I'm like on the fence. Everything else I'm in love with. I love the eyeshadow palette. This is stunning. You guys need this. If you're into neutrals, this is a beautiful palette. Great formulas, great colors. I'm actually loving the Profusion liner. I think it looks a lot better now than in the beginning. You definitely have to work with it. The formula is a little tricky, but once you get it and you layer it, I think it looks beautiful. It doesn't look like it's like cracking or anything, which is really nice and impressive considering the fact that I did layer this quite a few times to try to get it to be as smooth and crisp as possible. And I think it looks really good now. So I'm actually loving these, especially for the price. I also love the Koki liquid liner. This is amazing. It is so black, so easy to work with. The Derma Blend CC Cream, incredible. I love how lightweight it is. It's a lot creamier than I expected and it looks really good on the skin. The color is also on point. I love these Juvia's Place palettes. These are beautiful. I love the tones in here and the formula is great. The LYS primer feels really nice so far. I'll let you guys know how this makeup wears throughout the day. I'll keep you guys updated in the description box or throughout the video. The setting spray is nice. It has a very light mist. I do feel like it's something that I'm gonna have to keep using to see if it's actually like 24 hour wear, water resistant, transfer proof, that kind of thing. But it felt nice on the skin. And I feel like it gave my skin a very kind of natural dew. The lip product, they killed it. Congratulations to Nima. I love the shades. The formula is incredible. I also love the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. This was really nice, blended in really easily. So yeah, overall, I I love this look, I love the products that I used for the most part. So if you guys have tried any of these, let me know your thoughts. And if there's anything else you guys want me to test out, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.